Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my buddy Zach just took over as tennis director in LA of a tennis club. Um, and so he asked me, what do I need for my pro shop? I'm trying to revamp it. So I was like, that's perfect. I'll show you. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, wanted to do a shout out to our sponsor for this show, Racket Aid. So if you live in a tennis pro shop desert, you got to drive 20 miles plus to get your racket strung, uh, think about using Racket Aid. It's a super simple procedure. You go online to racketaid.com, you basically register and they will send you this box right here, right? You put your rackets in the box, you tell them what you want, and you ship it off. And what happens? It comes back strong in the same box, and you get a free overgrip with it. Uh, they do Solinko Hyper-G now. Uh, what more can you ask for, right? Racket stringing delivered to your door. And you get to keep the box for the next time you need racket stringing too. So what better than racket aid? Give them a shot. I have, and it's, uh, it's worked wonderfully. Okay. All right. So let's get going into the video. My buddy, Zach. All right. This one's for you. So when you're in a pro shop, what do you need? What do you really need in your pro shop to get started? Well, let's take a walk on out to the floor here. Well, I'm going to start with the racket wall here. So because you have a smaller audience in a tennis club atmosphere, uh, your clientele is going to be a little more limited uh, because you're not you know, you're not really open to the public, but the sometimes the public can come. Uh, your audience is just mostly going to be the members and maybe a guest uh, once in a while. So you have to pick your rackets very, very carefully because you will get rackets that you won't be able to sell. So you kind of have to feel out what you need, but I'm going to show you um, some of the top rackets that would work for a rack, I mean, a club like yours. Okay. So let's start over here with, um, uh, with head. So I would suggest depending upon your club, you're only going to really need like a head extreme MP and a head extreme power out of this two line. So this is kind of like a pure drive, and this is for old man doubles, okay? Because I'm sure you're going to have those retirees playing a lot of doubles out there, and that is an easy sell, and they're going to be looking for rackets like this, okay? So those two, for sure, you're going to need. Uh, if you want the number one selling rackets in the headline, uh, nationally is the radical. So I would probably get a few radical MPs and maybe call it a day there. Um, the other one that I would go lightly in would be the speeds. So maybe a speed MP and a speed pro and, and call it a day there. Uh, depending upon, like I said, your audience. And that's all I would do. That's all I would do in the headline, okay? Uh, moving on, I probably wouldn't do Yonex unless you had a pro that sold Yonex there because they're not as mainstream um, and unless you have somebody really promoting it or if Zach, you use it yourself, then definitely get some E-Zones and get some V-Cores because they will do well there. But uh, it's kind of a lesser known brand that is stellar, but needs to be sold. It won't be bought. 
So there is a difference, okay? Uh, I would probably not do pro staff fetters. Um, I might do a little bit, but not much. Um, I would definitely do pro staff regulars, but not fetters. And I definitely wouldn't do the light. I would definitely do Clash 100s and Clash Pros. I would do a little bit of the 108. I would probably do very, very little in the 100 light, okay? Because Clashes do sell. And that's the hot thing right now still. Um, blades are hard to come by, uh, and you're not going to be able to get them right now. But 16 by 19 for sure, if you can get them. Um, Kind of leave it there in the blades. In in non-COVID times, I would say like a Triad 3 would work well for that senior crowd. Right now, the seniors are kind of just starting off to get playing more. I might dabble in a Triad 3. That would be it for the Wilson line, actually. I probably, I probably wouldn't do ultras at this point. Um, so we're going to move on to Babylon now. You definitely are going to need pure drives, uh, pure drive lights, really do limited pure drive teams. Definitely do pure drive uh, regular for sure. Definitely got to do bananas, right? Got to do bananas because people like bananas in clubs. You know, it helps with the, um, you know, a lot of stuff. Okay. Anyways, you know what I mean. Okay. Like cramping, you know, bananas are good for cramping. Um, I probably, I would probably do a couple of the Pure Drive 110s just for that crowd again, that, that person who wants that bigger head, uh, and lighter. Strikes, you gotta at least show some strikes. 16 by 19s, probably just do those, okay? And then the junior rackets, I would dabble, dabble in Pure Drive 26s, um, and I would do cheapies under that, like do the aluminum ones in the 21, 23, and 25s. Uh, and if you have a lot of transitional players that are kind of 12-year-olds going into 14, that needs their first adult racket, um, G, well, I used to call it G Light. It's called Evo Light now in a zero grip only, only, okay? Okay. Um, obviously we need balls, um, depending upon the club, I know that my club, they don't do champs, um, uh, because they're just cheap and people just go to Costco and get them, but definitely pro pen marathons, pro pen marathons, you can do pen tours, definitely U.S. Opens. If you want to be, uh, if you want to save the earth, do those trinities, okay? In the accessories part. Uh, you're definitely going to need Pro Overgrip from Wilson up top. Uh, they don't really make good um, replacement grips. So I would probably scrap that and do head, do the whole head replacement grip line. Pro, Comfort, and Tor. Um, definitely need a little lead tape there. Um, Syntec Pro from Babolat for sure. Maybe dabble in the Wil Wilson leather, right? Do some of that. If you have a Dunlop account, SuperTac is the best. Uh, you got to get the Shock Busters, the Smart Zorbs, Vibra Kills. Um, I don't know if you got String Breakers out there, but Elasto Cross would work too. Um, the rest I would probably not do. Definitely headbands, because, you know, all you people who sweat like a pig on the court, you know, I know you can't help it, but, you know, we have sweatbands for you. All right. Uh, everybody has tennis elbow, so air casts, victory bands, uh, these, those are needed, you kind of need that too for the knee, and then bandits, always have to have to have these three, okay, uh, wrist support right here, and then let's, if you, oh, definitely turn a grip, um, uh, turn attack, mega attack for those people who just want it sticky, okay, uh, moving on the socks. So for for most clubs, Thorlo will pretty much cover the the bases for everything. You got the thick ones that are in the old packaging, and then you got the new Xperias with the edges. 
for the people who want like a thinner sock with some padding. So that would be all that I would suggest for you there. Um, in terms of shoes, as you see, my shoe wall is a little depleted. Um, definitely get ASICs in the speeds and the gel resolution eights, uh, possibly do some Wilson's. I don't even have any Wilson's now. Do some Wilson Rush Pros, and I would probably call it a day there. If you want to be brave, get some uh, K-Swiss Hypercord Express 2s for maybe that wide-footed people or somebody who wants more of a traditional feel. But A6 Wilson and K-Swiss are probably all I would do if I were you. Okay, because it'll be hard to get a Nike account and Adidas account because they want, um, they have high minimums. So it's hard to open those up. So that's done with shoes. Let's look at string now. So I would definitely suggest, I would definitely suggest, um, you know, Gamma TNT you got to have in a 16. And then they have 17 that I have lying around here somewhere too. They got that new React 17 and 16. That's a fat core, these two. So TNT for sure as house string, right? They come in colors of, you know, for the kitties. Um, definitely do some Luxalon. I would probably go ALU Power, right? Maybe they'll do a little rough. Um, I probably would just go there with those two. Um, I would definitely do Selenko, uh, Torbite in the 1617, Confidential in 1617, 16L in 17, I mean. Um, Hyper G in uh, 16L in 17 for sure. Uh, definitely do some Tech to Fiber, guys. NRG X1 Biphase and Triax in 16 and 17. Um, as much as I don't like Wilson, you're going to have to carry it because people know it. Uh, NXT 16, NXT 17, these two. If you really want, go Sensation 2, but I like TNT better. Um, head Velocity in the 16 and the 17, for sure, too. Uh, gut, you're going to have to carry. Um, I would just get both Wilson and Babalot in the 16 and the 17. And for those fed fed people, uh, Champ Choice Duel, right up there. Uh, you're gonna have to get some of that too. Uh, that should cover all the bases in string. So let's uh, take a walk over to the clothes and the caps now. So here's the deal. Here's the God's honest truth in clothing, okay? You can buy all the pretty clothes you want, okay? But crap ain't going to sell, right? People, people, women come in and ask, oh, I love that cute dress. I would love it in white. So I get it for them in white. They look in the mirror. It's like, yeah, it looked better in my mind than in my body. So they're like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't be wearing white. So you get those type of customers, okay? They think they know what they want. When they put it on, it don't look good on them, okay? So be careful of that. You could literally lose your shirt if you overdo it on clothes. You know you know what I'm talking about. You go into any store like Macy's or any of that, they're 50% off, you know, backstage, meaning get rid of the garbage section uh, is getting bigger and bigger because people aren't really shopping for clothes. People are going to Lululemon for pretty much all their athletic needs. So be careful about buying clothes. Just get some polos, just get some shorts for the men, maybe some tees and long sleeves, like the, the family or the logo stuff that's from the club. Uh, stick with that stuff. Maybe a, a polo from Nike or, or you can't even get Nike or Fila or somebody like that and some t-shirts. So, but be careful. Now with the women's fashion, as you can see, I don't do a whole lot of women's fashion because you can like lose your fashion, lose your shirt with this fashion stuff because it looks cute 
on the catalog. It looks cute when somebody's modeling it, but it ain't look looking cute on your clients. So be very, very careful. Just do simple black, white, um, maybe a red here and there, um, some navy uh, tops and skirts and kind of call it a day. Just do simple stuff. That outlandish pink stuff doesn't look good on most people. So be careful. Uh, now let's talk about what we can sell and what we sell a lot of, and that's caps. We sell a lot of caps. Like I sell more in dollar value in these Nike caps than I do in a whole clothing line. So, so what does that tell you? I buy more caps to sell. And I know clothing looks great on the rack. It looks great hung, but that's literally window dressing. Okay. It looks good hanging there, but it doesn't look good for your pocketbook hanging there forever. So don't go crazy on the clothes. Go crazy on the caps and make sure you get a lot of good caps that are light, right? Because I sell hundreds, maybe thousands of these a year. Because who doesn't need a cap? It's sunny out here, right? You got to protect your head. You got to protect your face, right? This will block out the sun. And it's nice and light and airy, okay? So caps you invest in clothing you don't okay uh final thing uh bags so bags depending upon what size store you have i would probably just do simple uh six packs like from babylon like the blue pure drive line uh maybe it's real small in that arrow line uh, maybe do a fed, like this kind of a pro staff black bag, along with that Babylon there, um, and kind of call it a day. Maybe do some sixes, do a nine, and maybe do a 12 if you have that clientele. And I mean, if you really want to go with a three pack like that, just to carry a couple rackets and maybe a can of balls. Um, but that would be the extent, uh, that I would do bags in. Okay. Um, Definitely have a demo program, uh, set that up and try rackets and then you can sell rackets. Uh, but that's pretty much all you need to get started um, in a pro shop. All right. So good luck, Zach. Um, reach out to me if you need anything else. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.